Hi, this is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to teach you about using Google Docs. And the reason why I want to teach you about Google Docs is because when you learn how to use WordPress with me in the website Creation Workshop, you're going to create so many different websites, you're going to have a hard time keeping track of them. So if you look over on my site at WebsiteCreationWorkshop.com forward slash blog and we go over to the case studies, you will see all the different websites my students have made. And what's going to happen is you're going to start making a lot of websites and then you're going to have a hard time keeping track of them. So that is why I want to teach you about using Google Docs. Now to get here, you just go to Docs google.com docs.google.com and uh, this will get you to the Google Docs area. Now Google Docs is free all you need is a Google account. So a Google account might be a Gmail account, a YouTube account, AdWords, AdSense they're all connected together. So you would just sign in with your to your Google account and if you don't have one you can just go down here and create a Google account now. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. But before I sign in let me just show you the different kinds of items you can make with Google Docs. What we're going to do is we're going to create a spreadsheet but you also can create a document. This is kind of like using Word. It's the equivalent of a Word doc or you can create a presentation. This is kind of like a PowerPoint slides, so you can create Google Doc presentations. And the other two, drawings, you can create drawings, and also you can create forms. So with Google Docs, you can create many kind of things, many different kinds of documents that you can share with others and you can access from anywhere on the internet. What we like about WordPress is you can access it from anywhere on the internet. Well Google Docs is the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a spreadsheet to keep track of all our different websites. So let me go ahead now and log in. Okay, so I'm logged into my Google account and I'm in the documents area. And up here I can always switch back and forth between Gmail and Calendar, but I'm going to stay in the documents area. And what I want to do is I'm going to create a new document. You can also upload a document. So if you're already using Excel, you can select your files to upload. But I am going to create a new one. So I'm going to click over here on create new and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Now what that'll do is pop open a new window and I have an unsaved spreadsheet. So the safest thing to do when you first get started is to go file and save your spreadsheet. So I'm going to call this my websites. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So now I've opened a new document, I've given it a name, my websites, and by saving it, it will let Google automatically save it in the background. So here are the different columns, and if you're used to Excel, this will look kind of familiar to you. I'm just going to show you the basics. So I'm going to put in here website and I'm going to put in here uh, maybe my password and over here I'm going to put version of, of WordPress um, maybe over here notes this will be different for each person but I'm just going to show you some basics now uh, so let's put in the location of our website. Okay, so I've just typed in the URL of my website with the HTTP colon slash slash in the beginning. And I'm seeing, I can't see the whole thing, so I'm going to mouse over this and stretch it out and make this column a little bit longer. 
yeah, so that I can see it better. And maybe I'll just put my password, you know, password for your admin, version WP 2.9.2, and notes. This is my opt in website. So that's my opt in website. And I can make my notes a little bit longer. And maybe I'll put a second one in here. Christina's resources.com, another password, and 3.0. And this is a list. I have a public site, Christina's resources.com, where you can go get a bunch of different resources. All right, so I just have two items. I have two items in my Excel spreadsheet. Here's the thing I want to show you, which is really cool. You can click on it, and then immediately it says go to link, and it will pop. You can click and pop it up and open it. So what this does is then it gives you, and here's my list of resources. You can see that. So what this spreadsheet does is it gives me an easy way to click and get to my different sites. So as you build your websites with me in the Website Creation Workshop, you're going to want to keep track of them all because you're going to build a lot and you're going to forget where they are and you might forget what they do. I know it sounds funny, but this happens. So for each person who decides to use Google Docs, this these columns will be a, a little bit different. You can add as much as you want. You can keep going and adding as many columns as you want. You can also color the columns. You know, maybe I want to color this kind of a light blue. Uh, if you want to do that, you can color your columns. So let me put that back to white. I think I'll keep that as, as white. Um, let me just show you a couple of other important things. So I'm going to just say File, Save and Close. I'm going to close that. So I'm now back at Google Docs, and when I clicked on this, it opened it in a new window. Here's the key thing I want to show you, which is sharing. All right, right now this file is not shared but I want to share this with my team, my collaborators, my virtual assistants. So you might be sharing it with your assistants, your business owners, you know, anybody who's working in your business with you. So in order to share it, I click on this box and I go share, invite people. And then what I can do is I can invite my team members. All right, so when I've clicked Invite People, I can put the email address of the person I want to share with, the message, and then decide, do I want them to be able to edit it or just view it? And then I can click Send. Or you can click Add without sending an invitation. And that way, now you can see who has access. I'll click Save and Close. So. Right now, it shows me that I have shared it with one collaborator. So again, this is how you use Google Docs to keep track of your websites, all the websites you're going to build in the Website Creation Workshop. This is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop.